Okay, so daily sketch number eight, painting. Okay, so the dragon head, I would say, is kind of this oval shape to start with. And I'm going to try and put it off to the side because his neck really curves. And so I really want to notice how the head kind of tilts like this. And then I've got this curve that continues up and then back here. And that curve is important. If I do it too sharp, which I think I kind of did here, then it's going to look weird and wonky. Now I just want to get like the shape of the head more accurate. So I've got his snout, jawline, it's really scaly so I'm not going to draw any details of that right now. And then this curves. I really want to look at this negative space that's going on here and I haven't drawn all the details of the spikes but I'm going to imagine they're there and then just curve it in here. And I'm going to pay attention to the thickness of the neck here. A lot of mistakes people will make when they're drawing a creature and animal. They draw thicker necks than they need to wear thinner necks. So try and get this thickness correct and then it does widen out here. And then gesturing the width getting wider at the bottom that the body is bigger at the bottom. Okay, once I'm happy with that, then I am going to go in and do details of the face. And um, the shape of the head always on dragons is a little bit smaller. So you want to be careful that you didn't get too big. I'm going to get this curve of the mouth accurate and then go back in and check the chin. And now what I'm going to do is start putting in the spikes and scales. So this would be the upper eye. The eyes are kind of, let's see, angled about like this. So this eye is quite big. Sometimes you'll see in dragon drawings that the eyes are smaller. So you can decide what you like. Um, once you're done with these eyes, you go back here and you see the horn. The first horn comes up here and then, let's see, I think this comes a little bit closer. And then this one is angled because it's in front and it comes from the eye up. And I'm really looking at the negative space in between the two and getting this this one's definitely going to be bigger because it's in front. And then you kind of pay attention to how far off, if you're trying to be really accurate to the drawing, how far off the horn comes from the neck. Then this one, pay attention to the negative space in here. This one comes off past the neck, but not really that far. And then this next I guess these aren't horns, these are spikes. Comes down here below. Okay, so then once I'm happy with these spikes, and you can tell like the spikes from the drawing pretty straight if you want to curve them more. Maybe that looks more like a feminine dragon. I don't know. You can decide. This one's a little thicker in the back than I like, so I'm going to adjust that. And then you've got the nostril. Put a little detail here. They, I'm going to, let's see, you've got some spikes off the snout. I kind of just look at them. Some, some of them are cool. They get like smaller than bigger than smaller. And then we have another row behind. And I kind of feel on these type of spikes, you can get as crazy as you want or you can stick to the drawing. Once I've gotten those down and I like it, I'm going to darken my lines and stick with them. I don't care if you guys shade on this or not. And then you've got these menacing little teeth that are showing. Okay, and 
and then on the back of the neck again just more spikes I don't really stick to the picture on this just because it would take a lot of time. Okay, down the neck you've got these scales, I guess you would call them. And so I'm just going to roughly draw this section to guide me. And then what I would say is just make sure you're curving along with the body. Then that shows form. And they get wider as they come down. So I just roughly draw the lines. See if I like that. Then I can go in and section them off. So they like individual sections. Go back through at this point, erase any messy lines, and then you're done.